Not everyone who studies the sky has to be an astronaut. Some just like looking at the stars because they're pretty. Some are more concerned with weather patterns and their effect on crops. Some are just trying to get from point A to point B, charting a course, a matter of routine. It is OK if you don't like poetry. Uh, I, don't, I don't really like the sky. The sun gives me a migraine. The wind blows in my face. It snows on days I don't want it to snow. I will never be an astronaut, but I, but I, I want to tell you about the power of language. I want to say something like, don't think of writing a poem as an assignment. Think of it as an opportunity. But that's kind of corny. Uh, a lot of things that are true are kind of corny. This isn't a very good poem. Um, I wrote it today. And yeah, it would be better if it were better. But sometimes you see a stage, and it's the sky waiting for you to scream something alive into it. So tell your story. Whether it rhymes or not, tell the truth. Whether it gets you a good grade or not, write something that means something to you. Even if you don't perform it or publish it or share it with anyone, poetry is not just how elegantly we can put some words next to some other words. The constellations might help us make sense of the night sky, but that's not a spoon or a hunter or a swan. Those are giant screaming spheres of plasma and nuclear fusion that are the source of all life in the history of existence. You... I would guess, are more than whatever container currently holds you, more than the stereotypes used to box you in, more than the assumptions that get made about you because of what you look like or where you're from or what people like you are supposed to be into. And in a world where it is big business to constantly try to sell you yourself, tell your story for you, drown out your whole sky with a single streetlight poetry, it's one way to push back. It is one chance to say, no, this is who I am. This is what matters to me. And of course, some of us do love poetry. Some of you will keep writing your whole life, publish books, get quoted in teen romantic dramas 100 years from now. But I've been doing this long enough to know most people who write poems for school only ever write poems for school. And that is OK. What amazes me, though, was how many people hold on to those poems. I know I did. When I was in middle school and in high school, I wasn't thinking about poetry, right? Like, I played football. I hung out with my friends. I played video games. But I held on to the poems I was made to write in class. I, I don't know why. There's just something about that process of taking a feeling or a belief and translating it into an image into something real. There was something about actually being asked what my feelings and beliefs were in the first place. There was something about hearing how a bunch of other people went through that same process, how we all ended up in wildly different places, and how we all listened to each other, how we made our own constellations. And I, I don't remember the words anymore, but I remember the light. And I've been walking in that direction ever since. All right, one last one, last one.